I might just wait here for a little bit. So lately, it really feels like all of my favorite YouTubers, all of the OGs, the originals, they're quitting, they're retiring, they're stepping away from YouTube. Even here in the Roblox space, a lot of Roblox creators have started to take a step back, like, like Dennis Daly. Obviously, if you've been a fan of Dennis for a long time, you'll know that the past few months, he hasn't really uploaded that much. Actually, the last year, really. And of course, just a few weeks ago, he made this video here where we talked about the next chapter and how he is actually taking a step back from videos, at least for right now, to focus on game development and making Roblox games. And over the past few days, this topic of quitting YouTube, of retiring, it's its become such a hot conversation, and I, I, I just wanted to add to it because I, I really have so much to say. And the reason this whole conversation even started popping off was because MatPat from The Game Theorist, he made a video called Goodbye Internet where he announces his retirement. Here in a few months, he will be leaving Game Theory. He'll be leaving the internet and retiring to spend more time with his family. And over the past year, especially the past few months, there has been a lot of big YouTubers retiring. Captain Sparkles, the Minecraft YouTuber I grew up watching. Dan TDM, who is a dad now and is taking a step back from his main YouTube channel to just focus on family life. Stampy Longnose, who a few months ago announced that he's kind of leaving his main Minecraft series in the past. And of course, PewDiePie, who is also now a dad. Him and his wife moved to Japan. They're living out their life, you know, retired, happy. But you see, none of those really hit me as much as Matt Pat's retirement video did. I was actually gonna do a video reacting to this video, but I just, I, I, I couldn't. This video, it, it, it's deeply emotional for me. And I'm gonna try my best not to cry while talking about this, but I mean, look, Matt Pat and Game Theory has been a huge inspiration for me, and I literally grew up watching the guy. I was in high school, I remember I got my molars taken out, and for two days afterwards, I just sat at home eating mashed potatoes and binge watching every Game Theory video. This was back in like 2011, 2012. And then over the years, I just kind of grew up with them. And th that's true for a lot of other YouTubers too, especially the ones mentioned at the beginning of this video. And now that a lot of the OGs, a lot of the originals, they're starting to retire. It's just, it's such a, it's a stark reminder for me at how much the world has changed since like 2011 and 2012 but also just how <laughs> how old we're all getting um not just me but you guys you know all my favorite youtubers and oh my god here's the tears okay but it's like a lot of these youtubers whenever i was watching them in high school they were teenagers you know they were like early 20s and now they're dads. They have families, you know? They have, like, different priorities in life. They're not just making funny, dumb Minecraft videos anymore. And watching the MatPat retirement video, it really just feels like another big part of my childhood is just it, it leaving. Gone. I turned 27 at the end of this month, and it just feels like over the past year, it's just been reality hitting me over and over again in the head that, yeah, you know, my my childhood is is over. A lot of the YouTubers that I grew up with, you know, we're, we're getting old, man. We're getting old. You know, sometimes I wish I could just, you know, just, just for like one day, go back to like 2011, 2012, um, just, just experience childhood, just, just one more day, because, man, life was so so simple you know like i remember as a kid it's like oh life is so tough but it's like not really all you got to do is worry about doing your homework you know you wake up you go to school you come home you do your homework and that's it right but then whenever you're an adult you have so many different responsibilities so many people rely on you you know you you you, you gotta clean your own toilet you, you gotta you gotta buy your own groceries you gotta cook your own food you know and it's just you have so many so many different responsibilities that just i just wish for one day i could go back to you know coming home from school doing my homework and just spending the rest of the night watching you know youtube videos and all my favorite youtubers do what they did back then which at the time was 
you know, dumb Minecraft videos and, and funny skits and stuff. You know, actually, speaking of that, Yogg's Cast, if any of you guys know the Yogg's Cast, you, know, <laughs> you, might, you might be all like me. Shadow of Israfel. They, they, they never finished that, man. They never finished that. Most of you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you do, if you know, then you know. But they, they never finished that, man. They, they never did. But anyway, I don't want this video to just be a giant sob story about how I'm getting old and, and how I'm becoming an old man quickly. Um, I, I want to make this video to kind of just paint a picture of what life is really like as a YouTuber because over the past few years, a lot of YouTubers have stepped back. You know, Dennis Daly, like I said, a lot of people here in the Roblox space, you know, a lot of your favorite Roblox YouTubers, you may have noticed that maybe they've changed content a lot. Maybe they don't upload as much as they used to. Maybe maybe they're doing other things with their life. Maybe some of them are, you know, dads now, you know, like Roussel plays. He's a dad now. They're like, that's crazy. And, and the reason why I want to talk about this is because a lot of kids, actually, I, I think, in fact, the majority of kids, there, there was a study done, and the majority of kids, when asked what job they want to be whenever they grow up, they say YouTuber, you know, like a content creator, a streamer. They don't say, you know, like police officer, actress, singer. They don't say anything like that. They say YouTuber, right? And being a YouTuber is very, very, very difficult. And I promise this is all going to tie back in as to why, you know, a lot of us are... Um, you know, stepping back and, and retiring. But you see, a lot of people think that being a YouTuber is just kind of like playing games all day, you know? And like, that's that's not the case. Um, Up until three years ago, I was doing everything myself, recording videos, editing videos, everything, making thumbnails, everything was done by myself. And my schedule was insane. Like I was literally hurting myself uh, mentally uh, probably physically too just because of the schedule that i had you know back in 2017 and 2018 i would literally wake up at like 9 a.m stream for a few hours in the morning record and edit a new video immediately after eat lunch somewhere in there and then after finishing a video, I would stream again for another three or so hours. And by the time I did all of that, it was 10 o'clock at night. Literally, my whole day was just YouTube, you know, streaming, making videos, streaming. And then whenever I finished, it was 10 o'clock at night. It was time to go to bed. But I didn't do that. I stayed up till about 2 a.m. just to play a few video games with my friends, you know. And then, and, and, and then I would get like five hours of sleep. And that was my schedule for like three years, every single day, five hours sleep. It was not healthy. And I remember one day I was, I was about to go to bed and I just couldn't do it anymore. You know, I, I broke down. I was crying. I was upset. It was just like, I couldn't physically do it anymore because I mean, that's the thing about YouTube, right? About the, about the grind. You have to constantly be on the treadmill because it, the, the moment you step off the treadmill, the YouTube algorithm, the audience, however you want to phrase it, right? You're at risk of being forgotten. You're at risk of losing your relevance. You're at risk of fading away into the background. And so if you want to stay on top, you have to keep grinding and grinding and grinding nonstop every single day. And it's gotten better. You know, obviously I have a, you know, I have a team now. I have people to help me out and everything's fine now. I'm great. I feel great. I'm, I'm good. But then of course, in 2020, you had the pandy. Everyone was stuck at home, couldn't couldn't leave your house, couldn't go to school. And there was so much demand for new content that a lot of us YouTubers, especially in the Roblox space, we grinded even more than we normally did. Just just so that there was new stuff every single day for the people that well, pretty much everyone that was just stuck at home. And now here we are a few years later and so many of us are just burnt out. Like we've all just worked so hard. We've all just grinded and gotten no sleep for years on end. And now a lot of YouTubers, they just have to step back. You know, they have to take a break, do something else because they're just physically not able to keep going. And it's 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 a tough thing taking a break from YouTube I've never really taken a break from YouTube I don't you know I, I love doing what I do I don't like taking breaks you know but for a lot of YouTubers it's like it's our responsibility in a sense to to upload videos to make new content 
because even though it's just videos or streams, you know, like the the fact of the matter is our job is to entertain people to make, you know, people's lives just a little bit better because of our videos, you know, each day. And when we don't do that, it feels like we're letting people down, you know, like people rely on us to be that that entertainment for the day, you know, back back when I was in you know high school, like I said, I'd come home from school, I'd look forward to the next Captain Sparkles video or the next Yogi's Cast video or the next MatPat video or whatever. And and for a lot of you guys, obviously, you didn't grow up with those YouTubers. You're growing up with 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 us, with us Roblox YouTubers. And good God, my nose is snotty now. Oh man, <sighs> and it, it just. It, it feels like we have a responsibility to, like, uphold the mantle, you know, to, to, to pass the baton, keep it going. And a lot of a lot of YouTubers just aren't able to do that because we've just been working away for so long, for so hard. And I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea from this video. I'm not planning on retiring or quitting anytime soon. I love what I do. I I feel better than ever, you know, like... It is, it is an absolute privilege to get to do this, you know. Um, I never thought I'd get to this point, you know, and I, I don't plan on retiring anytime soon. It's just watching the MatPat video, watching the Captain Sparkles video, watching the Dan TDM video, it's just like one day that's going to be me, you know. Like I'm not a kid anymore. One day I'm going to be a dad. I'm, I'm going to have kids and whether it's 10 years from now, whether it's 20 years from now, whether it's 30, whether it's 50 years from now, maybe I'm 70 years old still doing this. Welcome back to another Roblox video. <laughs> I don't even know if Roblox will be around in 70 years. Who knows, man? But like one day, all the YouTubers you watch right now, whether it's me, whether it's Flamingo, whether it's, you know, Sketch, we're going to have that same video we're gonna have that same matpad video of like hey we're retiring you know like we're entering the next part of our lives you know and it's very it's very scary and kind of a sad thing to think about you know um it's it's also weird to think about because no matter how many youtubers retire there's always new creators coming up you know there's always new new content creators and YouTubers and TikTokers and streamers to take our place, you know, and, and the, to carry the mantle forward. Um, I, I honestly don't know where I'm going with this video. It's just the MatPat retirement. It, it really, it, it really has, you know, kind of affected me in a, in a way. And I know that's, that's a very cheesy thing to say, but, um, it it just feels like we're entering like the next era of YouTube, you know, like all of all of us OGs, you know. I I don't even think you can call me an OG. I'm like, I'm I'm like the second generation, if anything. But like, you know, we're all getting old, and soon you guys are gonna be graduated. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna be in college doing your thing, and the world keeps going. Um, again, I don't know where I'm going with this video. I just wanted to talk about it. I, I don't want to discourage anyone who has, you know, dreams of being a YouTuber or content creator from not doing it. It's not an easy job. It is not. It is very, very difficult. It is It is something where you're just constantly working. You know, you don't have nine to five hours. You know, your parents, they go to work and they get there at nine, they leave at five, but that's just not how YouTube works. You know, like if there's a game update coming out on Friday and it's a big game update, well, guess what? You're probably staying home all day Friday and making videos on it that's just how being a YouTuber works um I think it's the greatest job in the world despite all of that but it is very very difficult and I think the Matt Pat retirement video is just like a reminder um a little way to pull back the curtain on just how difficult being a YouTuber can be sometimes, you know, it, it's it's hard to keep it up. You, you finish one video and you're like, man, that was a great video. But what about tomorrow's video? <laughs> you know, like today we had a great stream, but now I got to start getting ready for tomorrow's stream. That's just it's it's a constant, constant grind. And again, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea from this video. I'm great. I'm fine. It's just I don't know. Getting getting older makes um, it's a very emotional thing to talk about, you know, because it's like you're not just getting older, but everyone around you is getting older, you know. 
favorite YouTubers are getting older. Family's getting older. Parents are getting older. Your brothers, your sisters. Everyone's getting older. And um, it is a... Uh, it is a uh, very weird concept to really wrap your head around, you know? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, Matt Pat, I don't know if you'll ever see this video, but um, obviously a huge, huge, huge part of my childhood, probably a huge part of your childhood. It's going to be weird seeing him not on YouTube or not seeing him. It's going to be weird not seeing him.